Okay, so we've got our keyring made. It says best dad, looking fantastic. We've got our toolbox and our dad picture frame drying. Don't touch it just yet. Keep saying that, but I don't want you to start it too soon. Now it's under painting dad's apron. And let me try it on for you guys and you can see uh, you know, how your dad's gonna look in it. It's a really nice heavy duty apron, which I'm sure he's gonna love to wear whether he's at the barbecue or he's cooking inside. Maybe he can wear it in his workshop as a bit of a workshop apron. It's got some really handy pockets down the front here, right here to put some things in. And what I want to show you is not how to paint the whole apron, maybe a bit too much, but maybe you could paint his favorite footy team or his sports team, soccer, basketball, whatever it is, sailing team, who knows but favorite team right here on the front. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint my favorite footy team on my apron to show you guys how to do it. And I'm a big Essendon Bombers fan, so that's going straight there. But it could be you know, the Roosters, it could be Manly, it could be you know, the Socceroos, it could be you, Rugby Union, whatever. Let's paint Dad's favorite footy team on his apron, and he's gonna absolutely love it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Grab a, a picture of the logo, and here's the logo that I'm gonna use. Um, and what I'm going to do is I've printed out a full size A4 piece of paper and it's going to fit perfectly on the apron and I'll show you that. But before I put it down, I'm going to cut around the outline and that's going to be how I start my, my painting on the apron. So I've got my apron laid down flat on my, my surface, my work surface, and here's my logo. And I've got it sized so it fits nicely in this big area here above the pockets here, okay? And I don't want to make it too small, so I'm going to make it full size. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my image. So you're getting a bit of a feel for how that's going to look. It's going to look pretty, pretty dang spiffy, I reckon. So, so to draw a straight line around my footy team logo, I'm going to use just a piece of wood, which has got a nice straight edge to it. And you guys can use a ruler, but I just happen to have a piece of wood in my workshop. And I'm going to lightly use my pencil and draw the outline of the logo. Make sure you use pencil and not pen. That way, it won't it won't uh, go all the way through and run on your your dad's apron. So there, let me grab the camera and show you guys because it may be a bit hard to see, but we've got a line which is the outline of the logo there on the apron. And now what we're going to do is paint the lightest colour of the logo inside that line. And so if I look at my logo, it's basically four colours. I've got the black, the red, there's a grey, and then there's a light grey. And by using that one colour, what it will do is help to uh, prepare the material for further paint. That way it won't soak in as much. So I'm going to mix up some, some light grey, which is going to be very as close as I can to this colour here. And then I'm going to paint it all inside this area here. Okay, so we're about to start mixing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my black paint from my paint set and my white paint. And just for now, I'll put the other paints aside because I don't want to make, make a mess and get too many things out more than necessary. And we're going to mix up our paints. So what you've got to remember, the color we're going for, the color I'm going for, I'm going to put the lightest colour down first, and this is how I suggest you guys do it too. So whatever your dad's footy team, find the lightest colour, paint the whole logo first. And um, that's a light grey for me, so I'll need more white than I need black. Sorry, more black than I need white. No. So I'll need more white than I need black. I'm getting a little bit confused. So we'll take the lid off, and there's just a little piece of foil here. We remove that. And that needs to go in the bin. And then I'm just going to squeeze out about so much white. So you want to get 
enough paint to cover that whole surface. Now I think I'll need a bit more than that. Let's have a look at that now. That's pretty good. I think we're going to run with that. Now we're going to apply that all over the surface. And I feel that I don't think I've got enough, but we'll get started and we'll see how we go. So staying in those lines. And there we have it. There's our first layer of, of paint down. That's the, the lightest color of our logo has gone down first as a basis for the rest of the paint. So we're gonna let that dry. So remember, this is for dad, so don't let him see it. You gotta have it somewhere hidden away. Make sure mum gives you a hand to hide it because you don't want to ruin the surprise. So what I've got, I've got my logo. I've got a really sharp pencil, a lead pencil, and I've just got a straight edge. And this is, I'm using the, uh, the frame that I, that came with the biplane, which I painted orange in one of our other Charlie Bruce videos, but the, the edges are nice and straight. And the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw a center line, just like on the logo itself. I only wanna draw on the painted surface. I don't wanna draw a line on the, uh, the apron where it hasn't been painted. And I'm just gonna draw a line through there, just only faint enough that I can see it. It doesn't need to be too dark. And then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to start drawing some lines that make up this triangle section here where the plane is. So we'll start in one area first, we'll do that triangle, and then we'll start looking at the letters. And so if I'm looking at this, I can see that there's one, two lines that are parallel, and they're about half a centimetre apart. So I'm just going to mark in here about half a centimetre, like so. And then I'm just gonna draw a line through those marks there. Just faint enough to see it as a guide. And I will be drawing it a little bit darker than you guys because it might be hard to pick up on camera if I did it too light. Mark about half a centimeter in, half a centimeter in. And then I'm gonna line up Draw a line there, and the same with that one. Like so, and now, see so if I look at my logo here, and I take a line between the edges of the triangle, it does actually go up a little bit. So I'm gonna allow for that. And it's about a thumb's worth, a little bit less than a thumb, from the middle to the top of that triangle there. So I'm gonna, Draw a line across, very thin, very lightly. Just like so, not too heavy. And I'm gonna go a little bit of a thumb. There go. I do it that way so you guys can see. And it's sort of about there. And I'm gonna put a mark there. And then I'll do another one here. And then another one there. And these sections here are on an angle. So I want to try and replicate that angle. Like that. Now we're going to start drawing the plane. And this could be a bit tricky. So we'll just take our time and we're going to take some measurements here to figure out where everything is. So for example, we'll take a measurement to see where the nose starts. And we'll just do a little mark there. And that's the start of our nose. And then we'll take these points here. I want to take these points from the middle. Take these points here. One there, one there. And I also want to get the height. So how far up is that? So you see I'm not using a ruler. I'm just going to use a, something that I can draw on, which is a bit firm, a bit stiff. Could be a piece of cardboard. It could be, 
could be a piece of wood like I'm using here. All right, so from the nose to there, and I'm just gonna draw a little mark. There and there. And then I'm just gonna do a curve from here to here. Try and match the curve here like that. And maybe even, even tracing that curve a couple of times will get you the, to get the feel for it. So here we go. And I'm gonna try and replicate that on the other side. Something like that I'm pretty happy with. And then whilst we're here, we can, we can freehand draw the cockpit of the plane. We can also see that there's a nose section here, which is about there. A bit more curve to it actually, a bit more curve, which is this section here that we're doing now. And in there, there's a triangle, which needs to be black. And so from this point here, we need to draw this this outline here, which is more or less straight, so. So as part of your Father's Day kits, you guys will get some of these amazing high quality Faber-Castell connector pens, which are awesome to play with. And so I'm just gonna start coloring in all my black sections. All right, so you can see that I've colored in the black and the red. And be careful that when you're painting, when you're coloring this in using a texture, start on the opposite side to your hand. So if you're right-handed, start on the left side and work your way across. Otherwise you may get a little bit of smudging like I have here. But if you do, I'll show you how to fix that because I'm gonna mix up some gray, I'm gonna paint over that and you won't even know it's there. So we've done the black, we've done the red. There's a little bit of uh, dark gray to do some of the highlights, but before we do that, we're gonna do our letters. And to do this, I'm gonna make sure I don't put my paper over this because that ink is still a bit dry. Still, still a bit wet. I'm going to, I'll just zoom out here a bit for you. I'm going to space out the tops and bottoms of my letters and just pretty much freehand it, okay? So we know that they all have the same height and they all have the same bottom. So it's easy to draw a line to mark out where those tops and bottoms are going to be and it's about again it's about half a centimeter half a centimeter from the top so i'll just go in there i'm just going to allow for my texture line which will be a bit thicker than my pencil line so nice and thin like that and then the outside is going to be the outside of the e is sort of running through there and then the outside of the N, same thing, about half a centimeter in from the edge, like that. And then I'm gonna space it out. So I know that I can measure my letters and each letter on average has the same width. Yep, all the way through, same width, same width, same width, same width. And the distance between the two is about the same as well. So if I'll just, you know, I'll give you a demonstration. There's the top of our E, 
and then here's the, the edge of the E either side here and there, and then there's the start of the S. And if I move that over, it's pretty much the same there as well. So I can use that system to line up my letters. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you can see it's coming along pretty well. I've got the, the red, and when I'm coloring it in, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm not going over that line, and I'm drawing straight lines. Even though the E has a certain outline, I'm just gonna take, I'm taking straight lines to fill the sections in, and then I color it in from there. So it doesn't matter if these lines cross over because they're gonna get colored in red anyway. Like that. And then, we color it in. You notice how I'm not putting my fingers on there. I'm keeping my hand out of it. And I'm not going to smudge my work. So I'm really happy with how that's coming out. The last thing I want to do is the gray highlighted sections, which I'll just do in some text out. It's probably a little darker than I want, but it'll give us the idea of what we're looking for. One more section of gray on the wing here. Can't forget that. So whatever logo you've chosen to do for your dad, I hope it looks amazing and we'd love to see it here at Charlie Boots. So get mum or dad to take a picture and send it in to us. And we'd love to put it on the Charlie Boots, Charlie Boots Facebook page. And as a dad, I would be absolutely stoked to get an apron with my team's logo on there. So well done kids. So there's the apron hanging up in the Charlie Boots workshop. There's a bit of a view there of some of our, our kits that we've made over, oh, over the last dozen videos or so. But there's the apron, looking pretty awesome. And I can't wait to put it on. And look, then there's some, some pictures that uh, my kids have done for me as well. <laughs>